Hi guys, it's Patricia. Today I'm bringing to you my Scentsy Empties for the month of August. Now what I like to do is divide things. So I have my bin here. It's pretty full. I'm going to pause the video quickly and we are going to discuss current scents, old scents, bring back my bar and other items. And we'll go through testers very quickly. And as always, we will have the question of the month at the end of the video. Okay, I'm back. So we're gonna jump into the current scents first. The first bar, and I have my little cheat sheet here with the scent notes. My first bar I finished up was Johnny Appleseed. This is a red wax. This is Macintosh apples, the peels of the apples, and pears. It's nice and strong in the warmer. You can almost smell it without <laughs> having the warmer on. It really fills the room nice and fresh. Maybe, whoa, I always drop something. Maybe not super long lasting in my experience, but this is a winner. I definitely love Johnny Appleseed. It's retiring and I put it in my Scentsy Club. Now the next bar is actually not available, but there's still products available in this scent and it is Endless Sea. And this is from the summer collection. It is Sea Breeze, Airy Musk, and Linen Sailcloth. This one here, it reminded me of once I warmed it, it almost reminded me of sweatiness. Like you could smell, like you know what, sweat, not like a B.O., but sweat has like a saltiness and some what not pleasant vibe, like stinky feet sweat. That kind of is what I got from this, I don't know why. It definitely lasted a long time. I didn't get that salty, sweaty feet disaster the whole time, <laughs> otherwise I would have removed it. But I would get whiffs here and there, and then sometimes I would get the nice linen sailcloth. So, this would not be a repurchase for me. My nose just picks up those scent notes kind of strange, but it definitely lasted a long time. That's Endless Sea. Current scent that is spring and summer that I warmed up is Camu Camu. This one is Mandarin, Camu Camu, and Passion Fruit. And this one, I kind of forget about it, and then I put it in the warmer, and I'm like, oh my gosh, why haven't I been warming this one? Very nice. You can get that Passion Fruit. I'm not exactly sure what Camu Camu smells like, but if this is what it smells like, then I'm signing up for it. Great, it's a great scent, and it, it this particular bar seemed to do quite well, it seemed to be long lasting, seemed to be stronger. I loved it. It's not something I would stock up on. I may pick up one more bar, but I have so much wax, I'm trying to be responsible and not do that. One of the new releases I finished up was Tropic Tango. This one is Tangelo, or Tangelo Puree, or zest I think and mango puree and coconut milk and this one here I finished up downstairs in my open concept area I wasn't sure how it was going to do and it seemed to be a good solid performer and it kind of steadied itself it lasted a bit longer than I thought it was going to be so I left it in a bit that is Tropic Tango wouldn't be one I would probably purchase again but I definitely liked the scent it was a good solid scent I don't know if it's going to be back I haven't heard many people talk about this one so that is Tropic Tango let's talk about some scents of the month I finished up a Make Waves, which is a very strong scent from March. The scent notes on this are Icelandic Water, Dewy Greens, and Apple Blossom. As this bar kind of matures sitting in my Scentsy stash, I do find it's becoming very oceanic and colony together. And the Apple Blossom to me, it's a floral, but it definitely gives it a strong presence so it doesn't overwhelm, like it doesn't take over to make it a feminine scent. It's still a masculine scent in my opinion. Very strong, long lasting. This is a great performer. If you like those kind of scents, you might want to pick up some of this if it comes back next spring and summer. I think it might because just because it, it's such a strong performer. Another strong performing wax that lasts a long time is Poppy Fields. This is February scent of the month. It's basically red poppy, fig, and rose petals. And you can definitely pick up the rose at the end. First you kind of get the fruits and the florals and then the rose. Well, I guess the poppies and then the rose. But it kind of is a very long lasting, pleasant scent. It can be a bit strong in a small space, so I suggest a bigger room unless you want it nice and in your face. That's Poppy Fields. I finished up a scent of the month coming up for September, Caramel Apple Craze. This one, I wasn't sure if I was crazy about the caramel apple craze because at first I didn't really like the scent for a few hours. It had a weird vibe. It's basically got um, creamy golden caramel, red delicious apple, and whipped vanilla. I don't think the, the apple part is close to a red delicious. I'm not really sure what's going on, but early in the warming, I picked up a slight maple and a slight almost like amber vibe when everything combined together. I think it was the brightness of the apple with the caramel. 
But after a while that left, like after about five hours, I wasn't getting as much of that. And then I was getting like a nice caramel and I didn't seem to get as much apple. Um, I really liked it like after the first few hours and this thing lasted and lasted and lasted and it was strong. So this is a good one, especially for people that love that kind of scent. So for me, I'll probably put it in and then like go to sleep or something. And then the part that I don't like will be gone and the part that I love will be there. I finished up a current scent of the month, Harbor's Edge and also the little um, scent cup that you get in the whiff boxes. So this is actually my last bar of this because I, for this particular scent, I split it with my director so I, I get a reduced kit and I've used up all my bars. I, I think I gave one away as well. This is Beach Grass, uh, Flowering Raspberry, Northern Oak Fern, Crashing Waves, and Salty Musk. So this one here, I don't know what I think about this one. I'm not crazy about this one. Sometimes I like it, sometimes I don't. I find it doesn't perform the greatest in my home, or so I thought. Then I warmed it downstairs in my son's room. It did great down there, and I remember I put it in, and then like maybe a day later or a few hours later, I walked in his room and I'm like, oh my gosh, what's that delicious smell? And I'm like, I don't even know what this is. And I'm like, oh, it's Harbor's Edge. And I'm like, it's doing so well. So, you know, I don't have any left and I probably will not purchase more, but I have a feeling because this one is doing well, it will come back. It is a very, um, different kind of scent. It's a unique. Um, some people describe it like a masculine form of Luna. Uh, I don't know. I just find I get something different from it every time. It's a little bit ocean, like a little bit aquatic. It's a little bit like cologne -y. It's a little bit floral. <laughs> it's a little bit green. It's a little bit of everything mixed together to give you a nice interesting scent. So for me, I would have to probably warm it in my son's room if I purchased any more of that, just because that's where it did the best. So always experiment where things work well for you, because sometimes you can be surprised. Oh, the sun's coming out. I feel like a vampire when I say that, like, the sun's going to kill me. Okay, let's get into older scents that are no longer available. Some of these might have recently retired, or some of them you might want to vote back and bring back my bar. It's always good to hear about them. So we're going to cover Dumbo Circus Parade. This is clementine, peach, mango, and vanilla bean. So my first instinct when I smelled this was that I didn't care for it a lot. It kind of, sometimes I struggle with citrus scents that have, very, have a very high tone in them, and that's definitely what this is. It did warm up to the scent as I warmed through the bar, so it was a pleasant scent. It would not be a repurchase for me. I did have it in my Scentsy Club just so I could try it, but I took it out. But it did last a very long time in a smaller zone, so that is Dumbo. Very like peachy, orangey, lemon, and like a light, kind of almost like an effervescent feel. All right, Arabian Nights from the Aladdin collection. I love the packaging on this, very beautiful. Warm Sands, Bergamot, Ylang Ylang, and Crystallized Musk. So my husband described this as an old lady smell. <laughs> and yes, some people might describe it as a mature smell because the florals mis mixed with the musk kind of give that little bit of a floral, perfumey old uh, vibe but I was okay with it, it did, I didn't mind it it wasn't a huge standout for me it was just okay um, yeah Aladdin autumn sunset in the old packaging this one is coming back September 1st so this apples pumpkins fall leaves and spices yeah and it's very very assertive with the spices if you do not like spicy scents then you want to stay away from autumn sunset I think they said it's a top 10 fragrance but they I don't know if it's still a top 10 fragrance but this is an old, you can see it kind of tinted the back of the packaging. It's like a maroon colored wax. And the dark maroon almost gives you that autumn sunset vibe. But it's very intense and powerful on the spice. You don't get a lot of pumpkins and apples, but it just kind of rounds up the fragrance. So that is a good one. And it, it performs quite, quite well. This is a standout scent. Give me passion flower. I have it in the old packaging, but look how beautiful blue that is. And this one was a little bit sweaty. So I wanted to use it up quite a bit sweaty in there in the corners. You can see some of the... The oil is just running. Yeah, this is very good. It's basically got like hibiscus. It's got passion fruit and mango. I pick up all those notes. It's definitely a fruity floral. It's definitely strong. It is a boomer. <laughs> you can probably cheat and get away with using a little bit less wax. And if you put this in your Scentsy Club, you're going to get great value um, in terms of strength for that one. Sometimes those kind of scents do die down a little bit faster. But if you like strong scents and you change your wax out somewhat frequently, then that's going to be good for you. Hashtag dream big. I'll read you the notes. It's black currant, mimosa blossom, fresh pineapple, and vanilla orchid. 
So we have some florals in there and some fruits. And that's kind of what you get. You can definitely get the current. If you're not a current lover, then you might not like this. I, I was okay with this. I actually like this quite a bit. It performed like a medium intensity in terms of, it wasn't a standout in terms of long lasting. It wasn't a standout in terms of strength, but I was okay with it. I would probably not repurchase, but I was happy to have tried it. This one was a nice one, melon and apple granita and it's original packaging, a little bit sweaty as well. And I wanted to use this one up. It was apple, sweet melon and citrus. I get a ton of melon and it's like watermelon and cantaloupe combined and probably even heavier on the watermelon for me, but I also get the citrus. I don't get a lot of apple. This did very, very well in the areas I tried it. It did not do as well in my open concept space. It wasn't like a s extremely uh, outstanding performer there, but in my other areas of my home it was, so I will probably stick with this in smaller to medium zones and it will, it will blow your socks off. It's so good. That is apple and melon granita. Now this one here is one that kind of took me by surprise, probably one of my favorites for the month. I can't even really pinpoint why I love it so much. It's got beautiful packaging. The smell is beautiful. And I think I'm learning that I really like scents with sugar cane for the most part. And this one is Playa de Veradero. And look at that packaging. I just want to be that girl. <laughs> Man, this has sugar cane, bergamot zest, and Havana lily. And I don't know what it is about this, but I just love this. It relaxes me. It makes me feel calm and just like I am this lady. I am going to hopefully look for this to vote back on Bring Back My Bar. If you like very calm, sweet scents, a tiny bit of floral, tiny bit of citrus zest in there, it just blends so nice. Nothing kind of booms in your face. It's just so pleasant. A lovely bedroom scent, probably lovely bathroom scent. I loved this. It was sweaty and I kind of was picky and choosy where I warmed it because I didn't want to waste it. So I'm so sad this is gone, but anyway. Get a little bar tumble over there. Okay, let's move on to the Bring Back My Bars. I'm gonna to try to go through these quickly because some of them are pretty current and you might have heard me talk about them. Root Beer Barrel, not in my scent wheelhouse, but basically root beer. Root beer done right. I definitely like it a lot more than I thought I would and it's a strong performer, very strong scent. I don't know if I want my house to smell like root beer, but if you do and you pick this up, then you're probably gonna be happy with that one. Okay, this next one I picked up, I kind of traded with someone. There's only two cubes left when I got this, so it's kind of, you know, what it didn't take me a lot to empty this, but I wanted to try it. You guys know how I love to try since I haven't tried. So this is a Bring Back My Bar, and I don't know if you can see that, Banana Rama. So there was two cubes in here. The scent notes on those are sweet, golden, ripe bananas. So I was thinking it was gonna be a great, you know, banana scent. And I was very disappointed in this. I don't know if it was the way it was stored, how old it was. I had it here in my bedroom, which most things perform very well in here. This, I, I had a very weak throw from. So if you've tried Bananarama and you had a different experience, please let me know down in the comments below. Cause I don't know, I just wanted to try it. A lot of banana scents are kind of candy and artificial and I can't even give you feedback how that was because I didn't get a good assessment of it. This one is a standout for me. I really like it. It's from this Bring Back My Bar, but this is an older Bring Back My Bar from 2016. It's spiced grapefruit. This one here is very, very good. It's Mandarin Bergamot Citrus, which is kind of the grapefruit part. It's got cardamom, what else is it? Allspice and nutmeg. And I could smell this all friggin' day. It's so nice. It's very fall-like, but you could use it in other times of year. I think you could use this any time of year. In fact, I'm one of those people I would say, warm what you want, when you want, who cares? If you're a seasonal melter, great. If you're not, if you're a mood melter, great. Use what you want and don't let people make you feel bad for warming what you want to warm. Anyway, that is spiced grapefruit. If you're a spiced grapefruit fan, <laughs> so am I. <laughs> okay, this one here I finished up and I actually liked it more as I warmed it. It's winter candy apple. This one is tart green apples and sweet candy. I warmed this, did I warm this in my big area? And I really fell in love with it down there. So I kind of wish I had more, but, but you know how it is. You kind of have to make decisions if you're going to repurchase or put in your Scentsy Club. And I did not do either with these. Yeah, it's pretty strong candy presence and almost like a sour green apple, but it works really nice together. And down in my open concept layout, I didn't pick up that like shampoo body care vibe that I picked up the other areas I warmed it in. So I think that's why I liked it so much. 
yeah, that's, I kind of wish I had another bar of that, but say la vie. Okay, this is older packaging. This is flirtatious. It's great, another green apple scent. It has grapefruit and it has white amber. And this is a very, almost like a, I don't want to say soapy. I don't want to say perfumey. Like a body care fruit smell. Yeah, I actually liked it more before. <laughs> I warmed through this bar and I have it in my Scentsy Club and I will remove it. Just, I like it, I don't love it. I need to make some smart decisions, but it's probably a medium intensity, maybe even lower than that. And, but it does last a fairly long time at a lower level. So that is flirtatious. Puts me in a good mood though. It's not a bad scent, it's a good scent. I just ha I have to make some tough decisions. Okay, quickly, we're gonna go through the scents that I finished in Tester that I did not talk about. White tea and cactus, it is retiring. It's basically like green, green notes with florals. It almost has a sour vinegar tone to my nose, which that's the only reason I don't like that scent. I'm okay with not getting more of it, but uh, if you like that scent, you better pick more up. Two Harbors. I'm gonna put the scent notes below. I don't really remember this one very well. I think it has like some citrus and almost like a musky vibe. Yeah, that is, that's not a standout for me. Flower Child has like red berry, sandalwood, and something else. It, it, it reminds me a little bit of pink tulips. It's a, a bit on the weaker side, but that is a nice scent. Lucky and Love will be leaving us in wax form the end of August, so if you're watching, depending on which, when you're watching this video, it will still, still be there in body care. It's basically a lot of fruits. It's like cherries and I can't remember them all. It's very close to, I don't even know it has cherries, but it has like, it smells like apricots or something. Anyway, it's very close to um, Victoria's Secret's Love Spell. So I'm just wondering if that one, the sales have dipped over time because it's been around a long time. Painted Leaves is a scent that is not returning this year. It was available the last two fall um, winter catalogs. A lot of tree notes, I'll put them down below. It's like golden woods and red, red maple, things like that. Oh, I love this scent. Uh, it's a strong performer on my open layout. It's nice and fresh of everything different than you expect fall to be. This is fresh, clean, vibrant, no spice, outdoorsy, fresh, love it. Davenport, this is the one I think I couldn't smell very well. Yeah, it smells like wax. Um, definitely not, I can't tell you anything about it because I can't smell anything about it. Everything nice, it basically has a lot of caramel and like a little bit of, almost like a zucchini bread kind of smell or like a um, pumpkin bread, that kind of vibe. Bakery plus caramel plus like a, um, a little bit of spice. Mountain Sky, this one here was very um, outdoorsy fresh with cologne. Yeah, I like that one. Heartbreaker. There's another heartbreak. There's so many heartbreaker songs. Pat Benatar. Someone told me about the Pat Benatar. One. I freaking love Pat Benatar. I forgot about her. You know, love is a battlefield, Pat Benatar. Anyway, heartbreaker. This one here, I, it was a male cologne type scent that I really enjoyed. Yeah, I really like that one. It would probably be like if you tried it, it would be hit or miss whether you'd like it or not. But I, I personally like that one. I'll put the scent notes below. Lemon Time Berry is a big has a big fan following. That one retired last year and it never came back. It's basically like lemon, strawberry, and thyme, like a herbal, a little bit of herbal greenness going in. Very nice. Pumpkin cinnamon swirl, one of my favorites. I have this stockpiled quite a bit. We just covered this one in Tester Tuesday. It's great, I love it. Um, it's basically got some spice. It reminds me of a Cinnabon with pumpkin. Or it reminds me also a little bit of apple butter frosting with pumpkin. And Adored was basically like cherries, plum, and sandalwood. I found it a strange combination, not a very strong performer, and just a little bit weird. So that is Adored. So that's the testers. We're going to move on to other items. My foot's falling asleep. Just to show you, I went through three bulbs this month. Things all um, run out at the same time. I used up in washer whips, I used up white tea and cactus, which we talked about. Not a favorite of mine, it, it was okay. Uh, this is a favorite of mine. Aloe water and cucumber in the laundry is great. So I used up the washer whips, which you've probably heard consultants or myself talk about before. They're like little crystals that are used to scent your laundry. It's not intended to clean your clothes. 
Here is the laundry liquid sample in that and the scent off, so I use those as well. I can't, I don't recall if I noticed any difference with the scent off, making things soft, but just everything together was so, so nice. I probably will repurchase aloe water and cucumber in the laundry again, because I really liked it. I fin finally finished up my dish soap from the end of January. So basically it lasted February, March, April, May, June, July, August, because I just finished up not too long ago, so almost seven months I don't know, maybe I don't use, I don't wash my dishes enough, but you don't need to use very much of this. This is the newer formulation. So in the clearance, you might see some dish soaps. They are the older formulation and they do not lather as much. So just be aware of that. They've made some ch changes. The newer ones do lather. So if you want ones that are very, if you want ones that lather and suds up quite a bit, make sure you buy from the non-clearance section. In Counter Clean, I finished up Blue Grotto. This is my, probably one of my husband's favorite scents. It's not a favorite of mine, and I, I feel like everybody loves it, so I'm gonna get the daggers, but that's okay. We all like different things, so that's okay. It's not a bad scent, I just it's just not a favorite of mine. Um, it's very citrusy, and it's got like lush botanicals. It does, it, when I first smelled it, it was my, one of my favorite scents, and I think things just changed for me. In the pods, I finished up my Honeymoon Hideaway. I still have one more set of these left. Oh, this is such a nice scent, but it's light. I wish that when I had Honeymoon Hideaway in the counter clean, I have one left. I wish I would have stockpiled that because I just love that scent. It's a really bright, like, clean. It's very hard to explain. It's almost like a bright, fresh scent, but like floral at the same time. It's very, very nice, but they need to bump up the intensity. And that one is retiring, so that's the sad thing. Okay, we are getting close to the end, folks. Oh, let's talk about this because I don't want to forget. I finished up the oil in Deep Sea Dreaming. Everybody was deep sea dreaming. Da, 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 da. I know, it's not the same song, but... Okay, the scent notes on this are Cassaba Melon, which I think is probably one of those funky melons. It's like, I should look it up. You know those melons in the grocery store no one ever buys because you're like, I don't know what this is. That's probably what Cassaba Melon is. It probably has a light melon flavor and kind of almost... I think I bought something like almost like a lighter version of honeydew. Anyway, pink plumeria and algae absolute, which nobody knows what that is, I'm sure. Yeah, this is okay. Um, sometimes I use up the ones I like the least. I use those up first, so this is my least favorite of the collection. It was just a, a tangy, slightly green scent, but more tangy. So that is What's it called? Deep Sea Dreaming. I finished up two soaps. I finished up A Life is Swell, and it says here this is Mandarin Marine Waters and Driftwood. I have this in um, a lotion as well, and it takes a long time to finish up the lotions compared to the soaps. Yeah, I like this Life is Swell. I kind of wish it would have came back. Probably one of the um, better oceanic, you know, clean, watery scents, but that was from last year. This one I really liked. It was from last year years like winter collection and it's the scent vanilla mint and this is basically winter green frost vanilla and frozen citrus this is a really big favorite of mine the wax is a bit on the lighter side but i really really love the scent so if they bring more things out like as a surprise or like say a brick of this i would probably pick that up i like it um my husband finished up a car bar of blue grotto we talked about that so i don't need to go too more into it he likes car bars I tend to use my Scentsy Go in the car, and I'm actually, I actually worked on some clothesline, not clothesline, Clean Breeze, and right now I've got Sunkissed Citrus. I think the Clean Breeze still has life in it, but I was getting, I needed a break, so I put Sunkissed Citrus in. But I also used up a newborn nursery um, scent circle, and I actually did the vent technique, so you can see this, this is vent. Sometimes I shove these in the vent, <laughs> and you can definitely smell them more. If you can't smell them just hanging, try that. There is a risk of the oil residue damaging the finish of your vehicle, so only do that if you're willing to take that chance, but this is peony petals. I did not do the vent technique for this one, but this one I liked. I do have it in wax. It's basically a lot of florals, but a soft, pretty floral and a pretty, pretty packaging. I'm going to dig out the bar I have of this and make sure I get that warmed up in the springtime. So the question of the month for this month is, I'm always kind of curious. 
as YouTubers, we've been told, or I guess maybe it's just ingrained in us that we should try to keep our videos 15 minutes or less. There's no way I can keep certain videos under 15 minutes. I find in the wax community, most people are okay with slightly longer videos. But what I want to know from you guys is, is there kind of like a limit? If you see a certain length of a video, are you like, I'm not going to watch that? So I guess my question is, what's your ideal length of a wax video, whether it be Sensi or Vendor, whatever. I'm just eager to know because we don't want ever have it so that people aren't interested in watching, but we want to get the information out to you guys. So anyway, that's it. I will see you guys coming up in the next couple of days with my non Sensi wax empties and exciting stuff's coming with Sensi because we start a new catalog on Sunday. So take care. I hope you guys have a great day in your neck of the woods and I will see you in the next video.